Hello everyone, I'm Lynette and this is Charm Grammy Crochet. Welcome to my yarn room today. Today is um, January 21st, 2021. <laughs> um, and this will be Charm Chatter, I believe number 149. Uh, and it is Fun in 21, Day 21. So thank you for joining me. Um, so Fun in 21 is... Uh, uh, I did a Christmas Advent swap with um, Madonna Ballard, whose channel will be linked below. Um, and my box didn't arrive uh, because of the mail uh, this year was so backed up. My box didn't arrive till after Christmas. So instead of opening the gifts prior to Christmas, um, I decided to wait until January and do uh, Fun in 21. So for the first 25 days of of January I have a gift to open and today is January 21st so I have to open my 21st gift um, Madonna opened hers uh, and as scheduled at Christmas um, the month of December which was so exciting for me to watch and I think she enjoyed it as well uh, and I hope you will too so go click on that if you haven't watched them <coughs> oh, excuse me mm. so today is day 21 and I have this little package I can't wait to see what it is it's just the baby size package and it is well wrapped and hiding in there it oh it's oh <laughs> they are <laughs> little tiny magnets there's three of them this first one says, my ring light is blowing it out. It says, crocheters are sexy. <laughs> Yay. I crochet. Crochet takes balls. <laughs> and the third one says, I'm hooked. Let's see. <laughs> Aren't those adorable? <laughs> uh <laughs> I totally love them. <laughs> They're so cute. Thank you, Madonna. I've never seen any of the itty-bitty crochet magnets before. I have to find some place that they'll stick to. <sighs> okay, so I got this little, um, <laughs> they do stick here. And this sits on my uh, desk. Uh, this was gifted to me, this little shopping cart. Uh, <laughs> the candies are from Chloe. <laughs> oh. But the um, magnets do stick to the, to it. And I set this on my desk and hold my candy. <laughs> That's adorable. Yay, I can see them every day. Oh, one's upside down. Let's fix that. Double net. There you go. <laughs> so cute. Um, I love them. Thank you so much. So, let's see. What did I work on yesterday? I finished my stash basket. Um is my first finished make nine uh, from that I got my uh, Mama Swift picked Trisha Swift picked my make nines and the first one that I have finished it's not the first one that I started but it's the first one that I finished um, and I will show it to you I've got it sitting on a picture frame because you can see that it does stand up it is my little basket it's called the stash basket it is from uh, the original plan uh, pattern was from um, I think Lion Brand. Yeah, it's from Lion Brand, I believe. Um, and I I didn't quite can completely make it the way that they said to make it. Uh, but I made it the way that it worked for me. Because I misunderstood and uh, I decided to continue with it the way that I was making it since it was working out and it is a stash basket. It does have some stash in there. Uh, I used in the blue color this yarn called Fast Track, uh, also from Lion Brand, and it does show a basket on the packaging. This color is Taxi Cab Yellow. <laughs> I like the color very much, uh, but I made the basket in blue, thinking that. I would incorporate the yellow into it, but I didn't need to. That was exactly this far after tying in my ends. 
I had this much left uh, of the one skein of blue that's 149 yards, uh, 136 meters. They call it eight ounces, 227 grams, and it's a six bulky. I used a, five, a nine millimeter hook, which is what the what this calls for. So I did want to show you that it does stand up all by itself, even if it's not having yarn in there. Um, it will stand. So I'm pretty impressed with the fact that it does stand up by itself. It's uh, not the greatest rectangle all alone, but it does stand. You, um, so I thought that would turned out pretty well. It does have a rectangular bottom. Oh, I'm going to drop my picture frame. Oops, don't want to do that. It does have a rectangular bottom. Um, I've never made a rectangular basket before. I've only made my volcano basket. And we know that that wasn't really, didn't turn out the way <laughs> that it was supposed to, but it works, it holds stuff. And I do use my volcano basket, um, which is in a video from way a long time ago. It was my first basket attempt and it worked out okay using t-shirt yarn and not this fast track but it does i guess i could it does do well when supported uh i don't even need the picture frame under there to support it when it's got stuff in it so it, it worked out well uh it's got a little flap i think in the original design the flap was longer but i wasn't going to add the yellow yarn just to make that longer um because that gives me a a whole skein of yarn i can make another basket if i wanted to um, to go with it, to be a multicolored set. <laughs> uh, so what I did was, uh, you start with a chain of 28 and then come back to 20, you know, a single crochet. Yeah, the whole thing is single crochet, um, and except for a chain stitch in there. Uh, so you crochet 28. Um, and then come back and single crochet 27, you know, one for the turn. And then you turn chain one and turn. And so you do that. Um, the pattern called for it to be 20, uh, to be 10 inches long with your 27 stitches because they were using a five weight yarn, but mine is six. So my 27 single crochets is 10 inches long or 12 inches long. So it was supposed to be 10 by five, but I made my base 12 by seven. Um, to keep it in the same, like it's two inches longer, so I made it two inches wider. Uh, and then the sides were supposed to be a separate piece, but I did not do it that way. I made my sides a single, the same piece, and just crocheted a, a square. And when I got to the corner, uh, I have nine stitches down, down this direction, on the short side of the rectangle. So I would do nine single crochets chain one as the corner so it would turn and then 27 down this way chain one and I put a marker in the chain so I would know which one is the chain because sometimes um I don't know I have a hard time finding just one single chain even with thick, thicker yarn it's like a little sometimes confusing so I put a stitch marker in the chain stitch um every time and I left a stitch marker a specific stitch marker in the I started at the corner so uh, the corner has had its own specific color of stitch marker. And I did that until it was five inches tall. Um, and well, when I started the, ba uh, the first thing is when I started the sides, I did the, um, so I, I had it like flat and I'm going to crochet on the front loop only. Um, if I were to make it again, I would do that and crochet on the back loop only because I, it gave it a really nice finished edge, um, like this. But when I did it on the front loop only, and then I'm crocheting around, it's a, I was actually crocheting backwards. So I think I would have done it on the back loop and then flipped it over and turned it inside out to, you know, finish it. Um, if that makes sense to you, I didn't think to do it that way. If I did it again, that's what I would do. Uh, anyway, so I did the front loop, but I should have done the back loop and single crocheted until it was five inches tall. Um, and then flip it inside out. And then I made the border, which was again, front loop, 
no, this time I think I did back loop because I wanted it over this way, not up this way. Um, and I did two rows of single crochet to make the little, little lip. That does help support it and hold it up tight. Um, you know, more, more rectangular. And the lip is the same stitch. It's just that I did one, the first row of back loop, and then I did two rows of just regular around just to give it a little length. I think it's two rows. Yeah. And until my yarn was gone, I was going to just go until the yarn was gone. Yarn was gone. That was time to end. <laughs> it actually went around and left, you know, just this little tiny tail back to the beginning. So that was, it worked out really well. <laughs> and I like my little basket. Uh, and it holds yarn. So there you go. Just like you want. Holds my stash. So I'm happy about that. Uh, and that's all I have for you again today. I am done for today. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around this long for the whole chitter chatter. Uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for liking, watching, subscribing, commenting, all that stuff. Uh, and see you tomorrow. Bye.